Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Time for a game of Big Deal, No Deal. We have help today from Chuck, the dude Creasy with Lex Arts, the dude part you'll get in a minute. We're getting ready for the Lebolsky Artie party. We'll have more on that, but Chuck, you are the dude. You are the man. What is up first? One of the aides for Kentucky Senator Rand Paul says he was verbally assaulted during a recent lunch in California. Mary Jo and Josh, take a look at this video and tell us whether it's a big deal or no deal. Rude. Well, I'm not being rude. You just ran into two people from New York, kiddo, and we're not putting up with your Republican no. bull****. All I'm saying is... Listen, do not run into people from New York. That is, I guess, what happens. I, listen, I'm just not a fan of going up to people, even if they are politicians or public personas and bothering them out. There's other ways. You want to get in contact with Rand Paul? There's ways to do it. Well, and saying something to him, even if it's a disagreeable statement yeah. versus getting his face pointing and screaming, two different things. My yeah. friend Rand didn't seem to appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, you, you hung out with him. <laughs> All right, uh, dude, what is next? One of the former primary opponents of Governor Bevin has come out in support of Democratic challenger Andy Brashear. Is the endorsement by Republican William Woods a big deal or no deal? I do think it's a big deal because I think it shows that his people in his own party are not uh, necessarily supporting him. I do. I think Robert Goforth has not uh, made a, a endorsement one right. way or the other, but we'll see. Yeah, I think it's always a big deal when a in a contentious election when a member of you know the opposing party supports someone else. That's yeah. you know that's going to land for people. All right, dude. What's next? Kentucky has asked a judge overseeing the bankruptcy of Black Jewel Mining to lift a stay in the case so that it may assess a fine on the coal producer for not paying 705 employees. Is this a big deal or no deal? You know, it, it's, it is a big deal. Um, they are going to have to pay up even more than they thought. Yeah, and I mean, obviously a huge deal for the people who are yes. waiting on that, that money. So anything that can be done to facilitate that, all to the good. Yep. All right. Dude, what's next? Okay, police in South Carolina say athletes from Bellarmine University in Louisville were secretly recorded as they changed in a visitor's locker room several years ago. And the footage was eventually uploaded to one of the world's largest porn sites. How big a deal here is this here? Oh, uh, this is so creepy and so gross. And there's no way to get it off the internet once it's out there. Yeah, the, for the people who, you know, now find out all this time later that this has happened, they've been recorded. I, that's got to be just so oh awful, and knowing that it's out there and that, like you said, you're never going to put that cat back in the bag. That's, no, that's awful. No, the violation. Awful. All right, dude, what's next? UK freshman Shankel Knight Goff is leaving the football team, but is still enrolled at the school. He told Coach Mark Stoops that he's lost the passion for playing the game and just wants to be a student. Mary Jo and Josh, is this a big deal or no deal? Well, I don't know that it's a huge deal. I'm, if that's how he feels and he just wants to be a student, then more power to him. You're going to have, if you want to play football, you've got to have that passion there. And uh, I, I applaud him for being so self-aware. Yeah, being an SEC football player is not a part-time endeavor. No. And if you're not going to be, you know, sold out to it, then, you know, why live that life? Good for him, honestly.